The Mayono DM30. $50 microphone with software? This I gotta see. Let's unbox it. And here is the box. Let's open it. Ooh, it doesn't have those sticky sticker things. That is easy to open. Makes me wonder if it's already been opened. Okay, got some foam protection over here for impact resistance, and I will take it that this is the microphone itself! Wow! Oh my goodness. Look at that size compared to my face. This thing is adorable! Okay, so what else does it come with? I'll assume these are the cables. Alright, this cable is neat. Feels very robust. Gotta unwire this. Do you see this? That's type A here. Bam! Suddenly type C. Type A, type C. Okay, let- oh wow. Wow. Fifty dollars, wow. But it kinda clips when you go, uh, let's not do that. This microphone has a personality. It wants you to stay back or else it's gonna clip. A true gaming mic. So as you can see here, my audio isn't clipping waveform wise, but there's already some kind of distortion. Now most USB condenser microphones, especially at this price point, tend to sound thin when you step back. So I wonder if the software can compensate for that. And by the way, you can adjust the headphone monitor output by long pressing the button right there. That is the gain knob. So now in this mode, I am editing the headphone monitor. Very nice. Hello, hello. And when you're done, just long press it again. Okay, something peculiar about this microphone. When you get up close, when you use a high-pitched voice like mine, the audio isn't clipping, but it does sound distorted. But here's what I discovered. In the city, you must fight to survive. He sold tortillas in the corner this summer. That's not fair. If I try to do a deep trailer voice. It actually works. So you can get low when you're on the bassy side, but if there's a lot of trouble in your voice, you're gonna have to do this. Or... You know, use it the way it's designed, which is to speak from afar. By the way, I gotta say that I am impressed at how this tiny microphone can drive my DT770 Pros to respectably loud listening levels. Hello. In the city, you must fight to survive. It's also got great plosive rejection. I mean, Peter, Peter. I mean, that's not so bad. P Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Respectable. Look at that, it's also two in one. So it's got both a 3 8 inch thread, fits right into one of these, and most microphone stands. And when you short press this, that is a mute button. Let's try the software. Okay, we are now using the Mayono Link software, which we got from their website. Let's play around with it. Okay, here's our gain knob, which we are gonna drag down all the way to zero, and we are dragging it back up. So that really did change the gain. We can turn the monitoring on and off, and now I can't hear myself, but you can hear me. Headphone volume right here, so you don't have to touch the mic itself. And apparently it was already set to deep. Yeah, so that's as deep as my voice can get. Meow. Meow. Let's try the tones one by one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Natural. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Bright. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Legacy. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now with a consistent sound. Uh... For my voice, I'm kind of liking Legacy. You can control your RGB right here. Ooh, turned off. Turns on, and apparently you can also adjust the brightness. Beautiful, wow. Gamer's gonna love this. Oh, rainbow colors. I thought it would be like the color palette where you can choose like from a million colors, but that's just wishful thinking and this is still very generous. Let's try the advanced controls. Okay. So here you have the flat setting if you don't want to EQ your voice. Now the high pass filter doesn't make your voice sound fancier. It just helps get rid of low noise rumble. So here you have a presence boost that helps EQ your voice to cut through dense mixes. I can hear that it's adding some extra treble in there, which I personally 
personally don't like for my voice. And you can combine the high pass filter and presence boost. Hello. The limiter is great to have because this can essentially prevent clipping. I'd personally set it to like minus one dB right here, which means I can get really, really loud and it's not gonna hurt your ears. Hey, hey! This limiter is great if you want to prevent ears from being broken when you scream. So the limiter does nothing here, but the moment you drag this down, I'm gonna start with minus one dB and I'm gonna try some loud shouting! Right there! I mean, there's still some distortion, but I don't have to care about screaming now. Gamers! You also have the compressor. Wow. Right there. A compressor is kind of like a limiter as well, a bit more delicate. Hello! 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 Though this one doesn't come with a lot of the important compressor controls that actually make it useful. So personally, I may just end up using the limiter. Now, would I recommend the Mayono DM30? For conversational, non-screamy applications, yes. For $50, even without the software, this is a great sounding microphone. Considering the price point, it's designed to go head to head with the Fifine A6V. Without the software, I give the points to the Mayono for sounding fuller, even at a distance. Now the A6V wins for not being so prone to distortion when you are speaking close, and distortion in general. Now with the software, for podcasters, the Mayona wins hands down. For voice actors, I would choose the Fifine A6V for loud character work, and the Mayono for commercial reads and narration because it does sound warmer. But the A6V can handle both character work and conversational work. You'd think that the various software settings would make the Mayono a bit more versatile, but the distortion is due to the physical limitations which can't yet be solved by the software. So I'm reluctant to recommend this to gamers who scream a lot. Still, you can get away with that distortion by lowering your gain and you know, putting a bit of distance between you and the mic and adding that software limiter. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button down below because that would really motivate me to make more videos like this one. Like, that would be really, really nice. And by the way, here's my next video. So it's got both a 3 8 inch thread and a 5 8 thread.